Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the channel of the College Process once again. I'm Ed from Principia Prep, and today we're going to be going over a big problem that's been happening on the FAFSA form for a lot of you guys out there, especially the guys, the students out there, trying to add Rutgers University to your application. For whatever reason, it's not letting you add Rutgers to the FAFSA form, specifically, as you can see up here, the 2324 FAFSA form. Now, when it comes to the 2324 FAFSA form, there is one big issue that, as I go to the next page here to add the colleges, one of the problems you guys are showing or have been texting me and emailing me about is an issue with adding Rutgers University to the list of schools here that you want to send out as far as FAFSA form to specific colleges. Now, I'll give you an example here. So I'll go down here and I'll just type in any school's name. So I'll just type in Ryder University. I click on the continue button here and then down here pops up Ryder. So I'll plug in Ryder here. So Ryder University would be put into my list of schools I'm considering sending the FAFSA form out to. And I'll just click on here that we might be on campus. Now, what you'll see is when I click the continue button, what will happen is right up here, there you go, it says application saved successfully. Now, if we go back, good, bad, or indifferent, whether you're adding one school, multiple schools, nine schools, then the Rutgers you're adding, it doesn't matter when you add Rutgers. What happens is if I go back here and I try to add Rutgers University to my list of schools here, I'll add Rutgers, I'll click the search box, and then down here will pop up Rutgers, and then we'll add them to the list. And I'll go to the next page by pressing continue. Now here, it doesn't matter what you guys put here. You guys can put on campus, with parents, off campus, doesn't matter which one of these three you choose. So I'll click on on campus, click the continue button, and the next thing that will happen is the thing crashes. So I've been getting a lot of emails and texts for you guys. How do we add Rutgers here if the site keeps crashing? It's very simple. So what we'll do is we'll go back, okay? And all of you guys go back to the same page, by the way. Now we'll go back here to I'm a student. We'll click on continue. And then what we'll do is this. What you now need to do is when you guys go back in, many of you guys, good, bad, or indifferent, will also have to put in the high school again. For some, most of you guys, unfortunately, if you start with Rutgers, it will automatically to go back in here, type in the save key I created. That being said, it'll bring me back here. So like I said before, some of you guys here will have to re-add the school in place if it didn't save it. Now, if you guys, after you add the school in place, your high school, I mean here, if we go to the next page here, what you guys want to do is right here where you guys are adding colleges, add every school you want to add here except for Rutgers. This is the key here. You add every other school you're considering applying to. So you have six more schools, seven more schools, add them all in here. So if I want to add, let's say, uh, Boston University or Drew University, I'll add them in here into the form. Okay, so I'm going to add every single school I'm thinking about because the only school having this issue right now is Rutgers University. So all I'll do is I'll add them all in. And then basically what you'll see is if I click the continue button, what you're looking for is this right here that just popped up. The application was saved successfully. And what you will do is you'll complete this whole form without adding Rutgers. Because if you add Rutgers, I'll show you guys again, no matter how many schools you put in before Rutgers, if we add Rutgers, what's going to happen is because a lot of you guys have been saying, what if we just wait to the end and add Rutgers at the bottom? It doesn't work. Let me show you why it doesn't work. Because I've already added, I showed you guys with one school adding Rutgers, it crashed it. I show you now guys with two schools adding Rutgers. And we'll see here in a second here, I'll add Rutgers. And then unfortunately, like magic, it crashes again. So what you guys need to do is log back in. Like I mentioned before, as I'm showing you guys here, basically, because you guys can just follow these steps, right? Just click on, I am a student again, continue, and then you go back in there again, and then add the remaining schools. And then what you guys will do is submit the form. Once you submit the FAFSA and get the confirmation screen, three days later, you guys come back in, and let me jump ahead and show you what happens three days later. Okay, perfect. So now we're back again. It's been three days now, so the form had time to process the others' colleges you put on the FAFSA. Those have already been done and complete. So we're logging back in. So we're clicking on returning user after, of course, signing in with our username and password for the student. And what will happen is we'll click down here, click on continue to open up the form again. And now what we're going to see is a different screen than we usually see when you guys first start the form. It's basically going to show us a confirmation here, illustrating, as you can see here, the form's already been done once. It's already been submitted once for the schools you guys were considering. Down here, we're going to go down here to add or change a college. And we'll click on to add a college click on continue. And now what's going to happen is now we're going to be able to add the additional schools. For almost every student, by the way, I just use the same thing. I use save and save because the save key is really irrelevant. 
as I mentioned before, once you guys submit the form, you create another save key. So it really has no protections on any. So the save key is really not that important. So we see here now, if you want to, we'll click on add more schools. We'll go down here. I can add as many schools as I want, obviously. But obviously the key here for all of us here is Rutgers. So I'll type in Rutgers. I'll click on search. And this is what you're looking for here to make sure it's going to go through, by the way. I'll click on it, click continue. And then the next box here, remember, no matter what I type in here, or click on campus with parent or off campus, it doesn't matter. So I'll click on campus, click continue. And here is what we're looking for to happen next. Up here is what we're hoping for. And then there it goes. There you see it. You see it's been saved. It's been submitted. This means you passed that problem you kept getting before, which I showed you guys, which is this problem here, where the site keeps crashing. This problem will not happen if you wait to submit Rutgers after you submit the form the first time. This, by the way, is the only issue, uh, the only way to resolve this issue right now, because there is nothing in there going to allow you to push the FAFSA through for Rutgers the first time. And it's perfectly fine. You can send Rutgers with the second application pool three days after you first submit the form. So of course, that what we do is we go all the way to the end. This next page here, what you want to do is you can do a couple things. If you want to, you can go down here to the bottom and press next section for every section to go through it, but you don't need to do that. What you can do to make it kind of faster, streamline it, to make it easier and finish quicker, is right here at the top, the blue button here, sign and submit your form. You click on that, and then what will happen is it's going to bring you right to the end. And at the end here, it's going to show you the changes that you've made essentially are you just added colleges. So here, basically, you can see here, I added Rutgers, and that's showing here it's been added. And once again, we get the application saved successfully, which means it's pushing Rutgers through the process of allowing us to apply through FAFSA for financial aid consideration. So we go all the way at the bottom, press the continue button, press no thanks. So I'm not making any more changes here. And then what's going to make us do at the basically the tail end here is just have a sign. The next thing we're going to see down here is submit my FAFSA form now. So we'll click on this, and this will then basically send out my FAFSA. Now you see the confirmation screen showing that Rutgers has been submitted, and I have it done. And you can even go down further down below, and you can see here all the schools are on here, i.e. Rutgers University has been added, and we're done. I know it's kind of been a pain in the butt for everybody. But this is the only way of adding Rutgers right now to your FAFSA form, okay? Now, if you guys have any other questions, any other concerns, obviously, I do make a lot of these videos. I definitely appreciate you guys watching it. If you do have any questions, any concerns, on the screen right now is my contact information. If you need help with the financial aid forms or the admissions paperwork or anything else, just feel free to reach out. That's my cell phone number. The easiest way to reach me is by text message, by the way. Other than that, thank you guys for watching today's video.